Hey, this is a quick video where I want to talk about the reflection on my glasses. Now, if you are recording, like vlogging or doing YouTube videos, and you've got like a pretty big screen, and rather than it being angled down like a laptop, so your screen is down here, if your screen is up here, you're going to get reflection off your screen. Now, something you could do is dampen like the brightness of your screen, but then that means that you don't fully see the correct colors if you're designing something. So it can be a pain. And if you look at my spectacles now, can you see the reflections over there? As I move my eyes around, you can, you're catching the screen over here. Now, this is what I've gone and purchased from Amazon. Um, it's a polarizing filter. Well, basically, here's, here's how they operate. Okay, so it's like a filter like this. And I know there's a bit of a glare on there, but this... When you turn it, it basically stops the reflection. So because I use my iPhone as my webcam, and I've got an iPhone over there right now, I went and got this version because trying to get this to stick on here is a bit of a problem, okay? If you've got a camera, you can screw it on. But trying to fix that on there, blue tack, whatever, it is not a good idea. So instead, I went and got this that comes with a clip. And all you do is clip it like that. And if you now look at my glasses, I'm going to put this on. And what you have to do is when you've popped it on, is you have to just turn the dial over here. Just turn it and it will then set the polarization or filter or whatever it works. Now I've popped it on and I haven't turned it fully yet. So you're still getting, in fact, the reflection is now probably a bit worse. I've turned it ever so slightly. And can you see behind me? It looks like my LED screens are off. These are moving LED screens. They look like they're off, right? Watch this when I turn the dial. Did you see that? You're still getting the spectacle reflection, but that is now back in. If I turn it, it goes off. But if I turn it a bit more to like roughly about, look at that. You're still seeing the images behind me and it is moving by the way. And I'm not getting the reflection on my glasses. This screen is now on 100% brightness. I'm not getting any glare in my glasses. All thanks to a polarizing filter. And I'm telling you now, this problem has plagued me since the day I started doing YouTube. I kept messing around with my lighting, rearranging things. It was never perfect. I kept getting the glare. I used to have my uh, MacBook Air when I was working. So that was, you know, I had my screen down there. So I didn't get as much reflection. But now I'm using a Mac Mini 2 and I'm now using my big screen. It was a problem for me. Not anymore. The link for this polarizing filter with a clip for your iPhone is in the video description. But if you're recording and you get glare, this is the solution you need. Polarizing filter. Why do we not talk about this more? Every video out there talks about move your lighting over here. Move it to the side, higher up or lower. That's great. But when you're facing a screen, you are going to get glare. And there is a little bit, I'm not going to lie. You will get the odd one now and again. There'll be a bit, but that's usually my light. But from my screen, not a problem. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.